How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slap Ham. So today we've got something a little bit special. It's some bonus content for the week. It's a massive compilation of some of the scariest YouTube videos we've ever seen. So sit back, relax and enjoy. The following video, uploaded to the Facebook page Mr Ngiri, shows what appears to be a piece of security footage that's filmed along a motorway. The clip starts off normal enough and we watch a couple of vehicles drive by on the road. As they pass, they don't seem to notice that there's actually a mysterious figure standing just off to the side. Take a look. The figure lurks in the shadows at the top left of screen and it's only slightly visible to the naked eye. Although it may be difficult to see at first, the figure soon begins to walk into the light. It looks tall and lanky with long thin legs. Up until this point, you may be excused for thinking it's simply a person, but what happens next will certainly change your mind. As you can see, the figure suddenly drops down on all fours and runs away at top speed. It looks as though it's actually some sort of hairy creature like a large dog or wolf. As soon as it starts to run, it seems clear that it's not human at all. Videos like these are often hard to analyze due to a lack of accompanying information. In this case, all we have is this strange piece of CCTV footage and we're left to mull over the details in our own minds. Was this strange shadow really an animal? Take another look and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Taking family photos is something that millions of people do all around the world in order to preserve happy memories. However, sometimes the photographer manages to catch something they didn't expect on camera. This image, uploaded to Reddit by GLBBLV25, was captured on Christmas Day 2012. The young girl in the image is the uploader's sister who was taking part in a performance held at their school. On first glance, the picture seems innocent enough. However, if you take a close look at the background, you may notice something strange. There appears to be a pair of ghostly white legs. They seem wispy and ethereal, and in parts are actually transparent. In the photo's description, the uploader notes that it was taken 10 years prior, and ever since then they've believed that it shows something paranormal. The uploader also mentions that they're 100% certain there was no one standing behind their sister when the photo was taken. They go on to say that when they were in the 8th grade at the same school, two students who lived close by had committed suicide only a few days apart. Despite the uploader's thorough testimony, several viewers have suggested that the strange image is more likely to be the result of long exposure. So what do you think? Has this photo really captured a ghostly entity? Or was the uploader mistaken and there really was someone standing behind his sister the whole time? This video was uploaded to the YouTube channel Viral Press and showcases a snippet of surveillance camera footage captured inside a police station in northern Thailand. Take a look at what happens. Watching that again, we can see a snake slither in through the front door. It cautiously approaches the man who's completely oblivious as to what's happening. <laughs> then, just as the reptile rears its head to strike, the man turns. Startled, he manages to raise his leg just as the snake lunges forwards. <laughs> The man eventually is able to subdue the creature. He then shows it to one of the police officers that's come out to see what the commotion was.
Luckily, neither the man nor the snake were harmed during the incident, and the snake was eventually released into bushes some distance from the police station. While it's not known whether the snake seen in this video was venomous, there's still no telling what could have happened had it successfully sunk its fangs into the unsuspecting man's leg. It just goes to show that danger could creep up on you in the most unexpected of places. Reddit user Haslan Hafiz 97 shared this piece of footage to the social media platform in an apparent attempt for answers. The brief clip, which was captured in Malaysia, shows something strange happening at night time. Take a look. The figure is some distance away, making it hard to see in any great detail. It appears to be wearing a long white robe or dress, and it walks as though it's gliding across the pavement. The figure's identity remains a mystery to all those who have viewed the footage, including the uploader themselves. Most have been quite spooked by the video, noting the figure's obvious ghost-like appearance. One theory that seems to be gaining momentum is that the figure might actually be a woman dressed in Muslim prayer garb, who's returning from a nighttime prayer service. While this is certainly possible, there's little denying that seeing a person walking along like this at nighttime immediately conjures up ghostly images in one's mind, especially if you're familiar with the tales of La Llorona and other similar white lady spirits that are said to roam the earth alone under the cover of darkness. A Reddit user named Westway09TN has a security camera set up outside their home, just like millions of others around the world. These cameras are designed to monitor our homes and ensure our safety while we sleep. However, sometimes they catch some seriously unexplainable things. Take a look. The uploader notes that the footage was captured at 3.52 a.m., a time known as the witching hour, often associated with paranormal activity. As you can see, a large glowing orb proceeds to fly by the camera before finally disappearing off screen. The object definitely looks as though it has a straight trajectory as it moves. It doesn't look to be floating around aimlessly like one might expect a piece of dust or spider's web to do. Because of these strange characteristics, it's understandable why the uploader was probably at least a little bit freaked out by what his cameras captured. Many paranormal enthusiasts believe orbs to be supernatural in nature. However, these days, it's just as easy to find someone who believes that orbs are little more than dust particles reflecting the camera's light or even an insect moving across the camera's lens. In this case, it seems that there might actually be something a little more mysterious about this particular orb, due to its large size and movement. So what's your stance on objects like this? Do you believe they're supernatural? Or do you think there's other ways to explain them, like dust, insects, or spider webs? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. This creepy photo was uploaded to Reddit by user BrokenStrings94. It's supposedly a photo of their nephew captured in a wooded area of Upper Sandusky, Ohio. It seems the two were out for a typical stroll when the photo was taken, and upon initial inspection, it may have looked completely normal. However, if you take a closer look at the image, you'll see something that might just give you chills. There appears to be a mysterious man in a large coat standing right behind the uploader's nephew. Some have suggested the mysterious figure is probably little more than a case of pareidolia, the tendency for one to see meaningful shapes and patterns in plain objects. The uploader too has noted that their nephew was standing about 300 feet in front of several trees. Their branches could be responsible for the strange shapes we're seeing. 
Add to that the fact that the photo itself is about 10 years old and has poor resolution, and it seems more than likely that there is a logical explanation for the strange anomaly. Still, it seems the longer you stare at the photo, the more lifelike the mysterious stranger actually becomes. The following video posted to Reddit by user OKBudget818 shows a young boy straight up spitting some fire for the camera. Mm, go to the plate, yeah. Yeah, the man will play right next door. Yeah, that's all I have in store, yeah, yeah. As he attempts to impress the audience with his freestyle skills, something rather creepy happens when a disembodied shadow appears. Take a look. You go into the abyss, yeah. This is kind of crazy. And why are you so lazy? The boy doesn't seem to notice and continues his song. Yeah, I don't discover anyone. I'm slow. About 20 seconds after the strange shadow brushes past the wall, something even stranger happens. Take a look. Yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, really, really cool. As you can see, the door next to the boy suddenly opens. This time, he seems genuinely startled and immediately turns to investigate. He soon stands up and enters the adjacent room, only to discover there's nobody there. There's no one there. Several skeptically minded viewers think that the mysterious shadow seen earlier in the clip might actually belong to someone who's later responsible for opening the door. If this is the case, it's unclear whether or not the boy is actually in on the prank. There's certainly something unnerving about the boy's initial reaction that seems to suggest he was really quite shocked when the door opened. Yeah, this is really cool, yeah, really, really cool. Whether or not it was moved by a human prankster or something genuinely paranormal is still unknown. Take another look at the footage and let me know what you think's going on in the comment section down below. It's really cool, yeah, really, really cool. Many urban legends tell of a story of a deranged mental patient who escaped an insane asylum to prey on nearby men, women, and children. While these stories are often complete fabrications that play on common fears and misconceptions about individuals with psychological problems, in the case of the Cropsey legend, a killer associated with a mental institution who was convicted of murder, it probably didn't turn out how most people would expect. According to the most common iteration of the popular legend which circulated around New York City through the 70s and 80s, Cropsey was an escaped mental patient who hid in the tunnels underneath an old tuberculosis hospital during the day. At night time, he would supposedly prowl the darkness, in search of wayward children and vulnerable targets to prey on. Some iterations of the tale claim that he had a hook for a hand, and the character even made an appearance in The Burning, a 1981 slasher film. Although it's a thrilling tale, no such figure was ever found on Staten Island. Some people even believe that this story was just a clever way to keep kids and teenagers from exploring the many abandoned factories and institutions dotting the landscape of Staten Island at the time. Nonetheless, while the details of the Cropsey legend may have been exaggerated and distorted over the years, the tale does have a strong basis in reality. The story has its roots in a string of disappearances from the early 70s to the late 80s. Throughout this period, children went missing around Staten Island, and although authorities suspected a man named Andre Rand from the start, they simply couldn't find any concrete evidence to detain him. Despite having been convicted of sexually assaulting a girl in the late 1960s, Andre Rand had somehow managed to keep his job as a custodian and orderly at the Willowbrook State School, a mental institution on Staten Island that he'd been working at since the mid-1960s. Although the institution didn't seem to care about its employees' backgrounds, his shady past eventually came to haunt him after the disappearance of a young girl named Alice Pereira on Staten Island in 1972. 
Aware of his criminal record, local police questioned the man soon after the girl was reported missing. However, despite their suspicions, they didn't have enough evidence to detain him, so they had to let him go. Over the next 15 years, he was thought to be involved with several more disappearances, but he was only charged in one incident, wherein he kidnapped 11 children and brought them across state lines to buy them lunch. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in the incident, but he only served 16 months. Once he was out of prison, the disappearances continued. Finally, in 1987, a girl named Jennifer Schweiger was reported missing, and she had last been seen with Andre Rand. By this time, the Willowbrook State School had recently closed, and its large campus had become a prime location for squatters and vagrants, including the recently unemployed Rand. Suspicious of the man and aware of his whereabouts, the local authorities searched the school, and after more than a month, an officer noticed what appeared to be a shallow grave on the premises. Soon after the grave was discovered, the police dug it up and identified Schweiger's body. Nearby, police found a makeshift camp that had been erected by Rand, all but confirming their suspicions. Following this discovery, Rand was found guilty of first degree kidnapping, but they didn't have enough evidence to convict him of murder. He was sentenced to 25 consecutive years in prison, and he was set to be released in 2013. However, in 2004, more evidence was uncovered that linked him to the 1981 disappearance of Holly Ann Hughes, a young girl from the Staten Island area. Again, they couldn't convict him of murder, but he got another first degree kidnapping charge and was sentenced to another 25 to life in prison. It looks like he'll be eligible for parole in 2037. So if you live in New York City, then you should be extra careful and pay close attention to the headlines around that time. Have you ever seen a mannequin that looks so lifelike that you could have sworn it was a genuine human body? If you have, then you're not alone, and this may explain why so many stories of corpse mannequins have popped up over the years. One fateful day in 1976, a studio was filming an episode of The Six Million Dollar Man at the New Pike Amusement Park in Long Beach, California. A hanging mannequin was obscuring a shot, so one unlucky film technician had to move it so that the crew could continue filming. As he started to get it out of the way, an arm broke off, and it became pretty clear that this wasn't any ordinary mannequin. Within an instant, he noticed human bone and muscle around the broken piece of the mannequin's arm, and the crew quickly realised they were dealing with a corpse. After some investigation, it was found that the corpse belonged to an old criminal named Elmer McCurdy. Having been linked with a series of unsuccessful train robberies and bank heists, he eventually met his end after being shot by police officers in 1911. Due to his lack of friends or family, nobody claimed his body, and it was quickly embalmed and put on display by a dubious undertaker. At some point in 1916, some carnival owners posed as McGurdy's brothers to con the undertaker out of McGurdy's body. From then on, the body was used in sideshow attractions by a slew of different owners across the United States, and it eventually found its home at the New Pike Amusement Park. Upon being uncovered by the film crew 65 years after his death, McCurdy was finally buried at a cemetery in Oklahoma. If you've ever been on a road trip, then you've probably dealt with your fair share of questionable motels. Between the drug deals, questionable hygiene, and strange characters that frequent them, there's no wonder that there's so many urban legends that have centered around these dilapidated venues. One of the most common stories describes a family or individual unwittingly spending the night in a room with a corpse under the bed. Still, despite the legends, there were never any verified instances of this happening until a couple booked room 222 at a Memphis hotel in January 2010. Upon entering their room, they immediately noticed a foul odour, and no matter what they did, they couldn't cover it up. Coincidentally, detectives from the Memphis Police Department investigated the motel, concerning a missing person case a couple of times over the next few days but they never checked out the Sargent family's room, and the hotel staff claimed they hadn't noticed anything strange about the room. 
The missing woman was Sony Milbrook, and she and her family had been staying in room 222 at the motel for several weeks before she had allegedly checked out. Despite having checked out, she was reported missing after she failed to pick up her children from daycare. However, the trail was cold and the police couldn't seem to find a lead. In the meantime, the sergeant couple complained about the room to the motel staff, but they refused to let them stay in a different room. Sick of the smelly room, they stayed at another hotel for some time, but they eventually came back because they couldn't find a better price elsewhere. Upon their return, they spent another day in the room, and it was even smellier than before. Finally, more than five weeks after the sergeant couple had first checked in, a motel worker found a corpse under the bed in room 222. Following this, Lakeith Moody, the woman's boyfriend at the time of her disappearance, was apprehended and sentenced to life in prison for the strangulation of Sony Milbrook. While it's good that the culprit was eventually brought to justice, one has to wonder why it took so long. Why did the hotel staff not report the strange smell to the police? And why did the detectives not check the room in which the missing person had been staying? While some people have conspiracies and wacky theories about both aspects of the case, the most likely answer is plain incompetence. Thus, whether you're managing a hotel or running an investigation, it's always important to remember to follow your nose and leave no stone or bed unturned. In 1981, rumours started to spread about an arcade game like no other. They called it Polybius and said that it had psychoactive effects like some kind of hallucinogenic drug. While many have said that games have addictive properties, much like a drug, people claim that Polybius gave users a strong psychological urge to keep playing the game. While many variations of this legend exist, most versions of the story claim that the Polybius arcade cabinets mysteriously appeared in various spots throughout Portland, Oregon, and caused a slew of deaths and hospital visits immediately after their installation. Moreover, their appearances allegedly coincided with encounters with government agents and mysterious men in black. Reportedly, users would develop amnesia, hallucinations, insomnia, and other serious symptoms after playing the game. According to the most common version of the tale, all game cabinets disappeared within a month of installation, making the story conveniently difficult to verify for skeptics and journalists at the time. No genuine Polybius arcade cabinets have ever been found, and it's widely considered to be a simple urban legend. Nonetheless, several games have caused physical and psychological symptoms in various individuals throughout the history of gaming. Around the inception of the Polybius rumor, an Oregonian named Michael Lopez had to call emergency services after playing the game Tempest on an otherwise ordinary day. He claimed to have experienced a severe migraine and had vision issues after playing the game for some time. According to a newspaper in the area, the bright lights and flashing effects were very disorienting. Thus, the game could have plausibly caused migraines or affected individuals with sensitivities to flashing lights. Games, hardware and visual media were not as well regulated back then, and video game studios often hired very small and inexperienced teams because the medium was still rather new at the time. Consequently, it's no big surprise that bad or harmful video games were occasionally released to the public. Tempest is just one of many games throughout history that have caused medical problems for players. For example, in 1982, 18-year-old Peter Bukowski achieved a high score in the game Berserk, and subsequently experienced a cardiac event that led to his death. While some sources claim that he was obese or suffered from heart disease, according to other reports, he was a healthy young man with no known problems. Whatever the case may be, his death serves as a cautionary tale to temper your excitement and not get too carried away. Otherwise, you could find yourself in an ambulance. The aforementioned deaths and other similar events in the early 1980s likely had some influence on the Polybius myth. Moreover, video games were relatively new at the time, so people would ascribe strange and magical properties to arcade cabinets, consoles, cartridges, and other related media. Of course, most people now understand that video games are just complex compilations of binary code that don't contain any supernatural properties, 
but it's still a good idea to limit your screen time and not get too excited when you do well in a game. If you've ever worked in a high-rise office building, you've probably heard the urban legend of a guy pretending to test the strength and sturdiness of the windows and accidentally plunging to his death. Gary Hoy, a securities law specialist at a company in Toronto, plunged from the 24th floor of the TD Bank Centre in Toronto after jumping through a window in an insane stunt that had no real purpose. People have whispered about unbreakable windows in skyscrapers across the globe for as long as skyscrapers have existed, but nobody ever dared test the urban legend until July 9, 1983. For some reason, on that day, Gary really wanted to liven up the atmosphere for a group of new interns while conducting a routine tour. Upon reaching a conference room, the man claimed that the office windows in the office were impossible to break, and to his credit, he wasn't exactly wrong. As he reportedly done many times before, Gary Hoy took position and slammed himself against the window, but that would be the last thing he would ever do. The window was quite durable, it didn't break after the 160 pound man rammed into it. However, the window did manage to pop out of its frame. Unable to stop his forward momentum, Gary Hoy flew out the window with the window pane and died upon impacting the ground just a couple of seconds later. While his death was tragic, thankfully nobody else was injured in this event. The man's recklessness could have easily killed or injured several passers-by if they would have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. By going out in such a way, Gary Hoy will forever be immortalised in television shows and online articles as someone who suffered one of the most avoidable deaths in history. We've covered the Cecil Hotel in LA numerous times here on our channel. It's ignited a morbid curiosity in people all over the world, with its dark history of murder and suicide. One of America's most notorious serial killers, Richard Ramirez, or the Night Stalker, called this hotel home in 1985. Then there's the Eliza Lamb case that has continued to baffle authorities for years. Lamb's body was found in the hotel water tanks after a lengthy search. The mystery only deepened when the LAPD released the now infamous elevator footage, a vital piece of evidence that shows Lamb acting strangely just hours before she died. Now, a new piece of footage captured inside the Cecil Hotel has been released. TikToker VNG uploaded a short clip taken by their uncle, who's part of a team that's renovating the old hotel. Take a look at what happens. As you can see, the door seems to open all by itself. It does this several times before the clip eventually ends. Even though the hotel has seen plenty of real life crimes and horrors, the comment section remained divided on this clip. Several commentators noted that many hotels have automatic doors for workers and guests, which could explain why the door is moving. They also noted that it was interesting that the camera person moved his camera every time the door did any movement, meaning any activation light could have turned on off camera. Another commenter noted that the door looked like it was undergoing a test as part of the hotel's fire alarm system, which could explain its rapid opening and closing. Still, others were adamant that this was proof of the hotel's haunted history, with some comments saying that they had stayed at the hotel and experienced some very unsettling things firsthand. So what do you think? Do we have proof of something ghostly here? Or was the TikToker's uncle having a goof at his niece's expense?
And just a reminder, if you've got your own scary photos or videos you'd like to submit to us, head to our brand new Slapped Ham subreddit. There's a link in the description box below. You can also email us at the address that's seen on screen there, submissions at hammedia.net. Many of us like to think that the spirits of loved ones will visit us once they've passed away to watch over us. It's a comforting thought for many, though a creepy one for others. Reddit user mgirl21202 shared to our Slaptam subreddit an example of what she believes to be her grandmother's spirit checking in on her son. In the first picture the Redditor shared, we see a photo of the grandmother in question. The second photo shows us a screenshot taken from some type of security system inside her son's room. Her son is standing to the left of frame with his arms up. Directly behind him in the doorway we can make out what seems to be an older woman wearing a gown. The Redditor explained that her grandmother looked exactly like the figure does in the photo even wearing the same gown. Most other Redditors were amazed by this and believed it was indeed the grandma coming to pay her grandson a visit, perhaps even trying to comfort him. A video shared to Reddit by user Ashik Sunil shows something mysterious lurking deep in the woods. Take a look at what was captured on camera. I'll show it to Ashik, There appears to be a humanoid figure hiding amongst the foliage of some trees. Whatever it is, it has a large head, very long arms and strange black eyes. It looks directly at the camera before turning and walking away, disappearing from view. Right off the bat, most people believe this video was easily faked. After all, it's simple enough to buy an alien costume and pose for the camera in the woods with some friends. Many also found the video to be somewhat humorous, as the alien seems to be more annoyed than anything else. So what do you think? Give the video another look and judge for yourself. User Polio shared a picture to Reddit that was taken by a family friend. Seems to show something rather eerie. In the photo we see three young children standing on the top of what looks to be a small bench leaning against a fence. Just in between the two kids on the right, an unsettling face can be seen. It has piercing yellow eyes, white skin and a mouth that is agape. Some people in the comments section believe that this was just a person wearing glasses that reflected harshly in a flash. Although, zooming in, you can't make out any frames on the person's face. The OP said that this photo was taken adjacent to a cemetery, although where and when remains unknown. So until more info comes to hand, the truth behind this eerie photo will have to remain a mystery. Actor and model Tanalia posted a photo to her Instagram that freaked her followers out. Over the course of several months, Leah and her partner Nick Hogan, son of former wrestling star Hulk Hogan, posted that strange things were happening around their house that they couldn't quite explain. Then in August 2021, Leah posted a series of still frames from her CCTV security system. At first glance, nothing looks particularly out of place. In the second screenshot, we can see a figure standing in a doorway at the very end of the living space. The figure looks to be a woman wearing a black dress. The night this footage was captured, Leah heard some strange noises coming from their cinema room. When she checked the security app on her phone, she saw the strange person standing in their kitchen. Close friends who saw the image were freaked out, but thought the figure looked strangely similar to Leah herself. Some comments agreed that it felt paranormal in nature, 
but a lot of people said it was probably a prowler and that she should call the police. So what do you think's been captured on Tanalia's security camera here? Ghost or a very real intruder? Let me know what you think down below. This next clip comes from the Facebook page Zona del Terra. It seems to show something eerie unfolding on a quiet country road. In the video, we can see CCTV footage of a car parked on the side of a street. A man comes to get something out of the car when something strange happens. Watch. Watching that again, we can make out what seems to be a transparent figure that appears directly behind the man. Whatever it is, it seems to push the man from behind. The Flash, X-Men Mutant, A Vengeful Ghost, these were some of the ideas thrown around by Facebook users though no one seemed quite sure what was actually happening in the clip. So take another look and let your theories rip in the comments section down below. UFO videos will always divide the internet and a video posted by Huawei Munja on Instagram is apparently no different. The clip has caused a lot of debate on whether it's further proof of the existence of aliens or just another fake floating around the internet. Take a look at what was captured. We can see the sky is filled with what looks to be hundreds of bright circular objects. At one point, the camera holder zooms out to give us a better perspective of just how far away the objects are. The original poster of the video noted that the UFOs seem to be moving independently of each other, jockeying for their position in the sky. The Instagram user does go on to suggest that perhaps this was simply a group of balloons released during some type of celebration, maybe a wedding or funeral. Many of the comments agreed that these were just balloons or perhaps lanterns and that there was nothing more to worry about. However, the sheer number of objects is certainly bizarre and it doesn't seem quite right that that many balloons or lanterns would be released into the atmosphere. Unfortunately, there's no times, dates, or even a location attached to this piece of footage, so it's hard to investigate it further. So as it stands, it'll have to be added to a growing number of mysterious UFO videos that float around the internet. Thunderstorms can be scary enough all on their own. What with the roaring thunder, sudden lightning, and torrential rain. But what if something paranormal was added to the mix? That seems as though it could be the case for a video uploaded to YouTube by Chris Brandy 602 What was supposed to be a simple check of a home security camera quickly turned very strange for this YouTuber. The first minute of the video shows us the exterior of their home. The description suggests that the YouTuber was checking the camera for lightning as their power had just gone out for a few seconds. Everything seems normal at first until something rather unnerving can be seen. Take a look at what the camera caught. We can see a very quick glimpse of a ghostly figure passing between the two cars. At first, it can be hard to see. However, when you slow the footage down, you're able to get a better view. We can see that the figure is slim. 
Whatever it is, it's only visible for a second before it seems to vanish into thin air. While the YouTuber believes that they may have caught an alien in this footage, its sudden disappearance has other viewers suggesting it could be a ghost. There is a chance that this simply could be a person walking by the camera. However, one does wonder why anyone would be walking around in such a terrible storm. Not to mention that it also seems like they vanish. So what do you think it could be? Lanky alien visitor, a spirit, or someone who just got caught in the rain? Let us know what you think down below. The last thing any of us want to see while out on the ocean is something large and terrifying emerging from the water. Unfortunately, that doesn't just happen in sea monster movies if this clip posted to TikTok by When Did We Forget is anything to go by. In the video, we see a man in a small boat on the ocean. Then, as the camera turns back to face the man, we see a horrifying sight. Take a look. As you can see, an enormous object appears to rise out of the ocean, creating a huge wave in the process. As usual, there were plenty of theories as to what this could be, with everything from a sea monster to an artificial wave being suggested. However, several TikTokers claim that this was actually the result of an iceberg flipping over in the water as seen in similar clips. That would explain the whitish colour that we can see the object has. Still, there's no denying that seeing this in person must have been a terrifying experience. Hopefully all who witnessed it were able to make it out of there safely. Exploring supposedly haunted locations takes bravery, and YouTuber Dark Ghost Paranormal apparently has plenty of it. On this occasion, the ghost hunter decides to explore an old house that is said to be a hotbed for paranormal activity. In the first video, the YouTuber wanders around the property while using his equipment to listen for EVPs. He hears strange noises from time to time but isn't able to catch anything on camera. That is until about 15 minutes into the clip. As the YouTuber begins to speak, we hear a strange squeaky sound in the background. The YouTuber quickly turns the camera to face the noise and we can see an accordion sitting on a table in the near distance. Watch what happens. accordion appears to start playing all on its own. A few minutes later, as he attempts a seance to speak with any resident spirits, something eerie is caught on film. As you can see, there's a disembodied shadow that passes by on the wall. In a later video, the YouTuber decides to return to the old house in hopes of catching even more activity. He explores various rooms, Then, nine minutes into the video, something haunting happens. Take a look.
As you can see, to the right of frame, just under the mirror, some kind of object is suddenly ejected into the air and disappears from view. Soon after, both the mirror and sleeping bag on the couch begin to move all on their own, as if manipulated by some sort of unseen force. This YouTuber is one of the more popular ghost hunters on the platform, often praised for his bravery during moments that would petrify most people. The fact that he went back to the house even after everything he witnessed in the first video definitely says a lot about his character. So what was causing all of the commotion? Was it a restless spirit, a demon perhaps? Viewers continue to remain divided on the matter. While there's no clear answer, one thing's definite. This is not a house for the faint of heart. Hopefully the YouTuber decides that two visits was more than enough, as another one may not please the presence that seems to occupy this space. In this next clip uploaded to TikTok by user Spooky Boy, we see something strange floating through the air. In the brief clip, we see a shot of the night sky. Lights from the buildings in the background illuminate the area. However, it's the dark object floating in the air that has many viewers confused. At first, it's hard to make out in any great detail, but a close-up soon reveals that the mysterious object seems to have a human form. It continues to glide slowly from right to left before the clip eventually finishes. While some viewers were quick to joke that the figure resembled Superman, Mary Poppins or even Harry Potter, others took the sighting a little more seriously. Could it be a human with a jetpack similar to the one we reported on last week? Or even some kind of alien being? It seems that this is one mystery that won't be solved anytime soon. There's a lot of creatures that roam around Australia, from deadly spiders and snakes to some that sound scary but really aren't like the Tasmanian Devil. This YouTube video uploaded by Warmonger shows us something that was supposedly spotted in the small town of Rocky Gully in Western Australia. Take a look at what was captured. As you can see, a couple of seconds in, we can see a bizarre creature running on all fours. It moves swiftly, disappearing into the darkness. While several viewers believe that this was simply a human, one actually claimed that his friends had seen a similar creature in Adelaide on two separate occasions. If this is true, then perhaps there really is an undiscovered cryptid roaming the vast outback of Australia. Give the video another look and tell me what you think it is in the comments section down below. This next video uploaded to TikTok by user Paranormal Vids was meant to be just a cute clip of a kid playing the piano. Take a look at what was captured though. As you can see, something appears to move in the background. A closer inspection reveals that it appears to be a toy train slowly rolling forward. As there doesn't seem to be anything pushing or pulling the train forward, it's easy to turn to the supernatural for answers. Could it be the work of a ghostly child who simply wanted a play date with the girl? Or is there something more sinister at work here? Hopefully the abnormalities cease and the girl can get back to practicing the piano in peace. While old, dilapidated houses and eerie misfield graveyards seem like the perfect place to spot a ghost, sometimes it can be the most mundane settings that provide the backdrop for potentially paranormal videos. In these next two videos shared to TikTok by Paranormal Vids, it seems that even a simple trip to the grocery store might be something to reconsider. 
In the video, we see what's most likely security camera footage of the interior of the supermarket. Take a look at what the cameras captured. As you can see, there's a strange blurry shape that appears in the center of frame. While based on this footage alone, it would be easy to dismiss the shape as dust or even an insect on the lens. However, what happens in the next video will likely change your mind. Take a look. Once again, the shape appears, though this time, just after it vanishes, several objects tumble from the grocery shelf. This footage is certainly a head scratcher. Items don't usually tumble to the floor for no good reason. One wonders then if the shape was actually a poltergeist, possibly attempting to let its presence be known to those around it. Whatever the case may be, one thing seems certain. It might be wise to keep your eye out for the paranormal even while you're doing your weekly shop. Sometimes it's not potentially paranormal sightings that cause the most fear in humans. There are still many places and situations that people would prefer to avoid in the natural world. The perfect example is the murky depths of the ocean. In this video posted to TikTok by Velvet Horror, we see a scuba diver casually swimming around, when suddenly something absolutely chilling happens. Take a look. If we watch that again, we can see out of the haze emerges an enormous shark. The shark hits the diver in the back of the head, seeming to take a tentative bite as he does so. The diver ducks down in shock, just turning their head in time to see the large beast swimming away. It seems that everyone who's commented on the video so far agrees that this footage is downright horrifying. Judging by the size of the shark, the diver was extremely lucky that it didn't decide to take a larger bite. There's little doubt that it could have fit the diver's whole head inside its mouth. Now, if you're enjoying our longer compilations, then check out that one on the top there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist here you can binge on for hours and hours. Leave us a comment down below, pulverize that thumbs up button as usual. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time.